And now to an exclusive new video of a crash course caught on camera in Fort Lauderdale. The surveillance video showing us the moment the car slams right into that building. Our Alex Finney joining us live with a story you will only see on Local 10. Alex. Well, Louie and Christy, I want to show you here. This is the side of the building that that SUV just slammed right into. And here's the thing. I spoke with the owner on really several occasions at this point, and he says that it's not just the fact that this happened on Friday, but it's that this continues to keep happening, and he wants the city to do something about it. Watch here as this SUV goes slamming into this shop in Fort Lauderdale. Thankfully, no one was hurt. But look at all the damage left behind. And now, not even a few months later, four months, whatever it might be, and we're here again. Dylan Buss, the owner of Fit Glow Beauty, says this is not the first time this has happened. At one or two in the morning. Thank goodness my family, my brother was down, so he was... He was able to come to the office that morning to help me, you know, clear the disaster. Just this past Christmas, a car slammed right into the other side of the building. The shop is located at this roundabout at Northeast 7th Avenue and 13th Street. Bus says that the city did a study, ultimately deeming the traffic hazards in place safe. However, he still has a lot of concerns. And this was my point with the city that I have a hard time with, is that this is the second time, the, the previous time was the second time the building's been hit in the exact same location not just I, I, it's three or four years before that. And I said to him, like, listen, I, I have a serious concern for the safety of that intersection. Crews were out late Friday patching up the gaping hole. Bus and his wife literally had to reconfigure how they set up and where they sit inside out of fear that this could happen again. And they and or their staff may not be so lucky to go through this again. My wife is just beside herself, you know, expectably so, you know, this is this is our business. This is our livelihood. This is safety. I mean, if we had staff members there, that's where they park their cars. That's where orders go in and out. And now back out live here, we did reach out to the city for comment. We are still waiting to hear back. And just to kind of expand a little bit on what I said there, they, we know they did have to reconfigure the inside in terms of their office space, just really out of fear. You have a lot of people that have worked here for quite some time and to really be fearful to go to work. Obviously, that is of major concern. Dylan says that he does really hope that the city at some point looks at this, takes this seriously and does something about it. For now, this is the very latest live in Fort Lauderdale. Alex Finney, Local 10 News.